In this second part, we will complete the mechanical build of the 3D printer. Let's get started. I used sliding nuts and 4mm bolts to attach the front Y-axis gantry plates. I attached two 5mm bow pulley using 5mm nut bolts to the plates. Similarly, I attached the back gantry plate and fixed the stepper motor to it. I then fixed the GT2 pulley on the motor shaft and fixed another 5mm pulley on the mount plate. I followed the same procedure for the x-axis stepper motor, mounted the motor, attached the GT2 pulley to the shaft and fixed 5mm pulley to the mount plates and tightened them using nylock nuts. It was time to attach the timing belts to the plates. I took the belt, inserted it through the aluminum extrusion and used nylon cable ties to fasten them. I did the same procedure for the Y-axis belt, fastened the belt with zip ties, made sure that the belt goes through all the pulleys smoothly and cut all the excess cable ties. I then fixed the top Z-axis mount plate, attached the Z-axis stepper motor to it Tightened all the bolts. The Z-axis rod had a nut which sits on another mount plate on the X-axis aluminum extrusion. I attached the trapezoidal nut on the mount plate and fixed the plate on the X-axis again via sliding nuts. Fixed a 5x8x25 mm flexible shaft coupler on the motor shaft. Inserted the lead screw into the nut and tightened it to the shaft coupler. Also tightened the loose mount plate and made sure that the shaft rotates freely. I attached a MK8 Bowden extruder which I have shown in another video. I then placed the J6 hot end on the X-axis mount plate and secured it using another mount plate and 4mm nut bolts. It was time to fix the heated bed and glass plate on the Y carriage. But before that, I attached the thermistor on the heated bed with heat resistant Kapton tape. I used the 3mm wide 40mm long screw, first placed the washer passed it through the heated bed, placed the 20mm spring, passed it through the mount plate and tightened it with a nut. I did the same procedure for the remaining three sides of the heated bed. 
I then tightened all sides of the heated bed. And finally placed the borosilicate glass bed on it and secured it with stationary clips. And thus the mechanical build of the printer was complete. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you consider supporting me.